Because you say I'm not disabled. The cop right here is saying I'm not disabled because I don't look disabled. Yeah. But I'm a goddamn disabled veteran that served my country for almost 10 years. I'm, I'm saying that. And he's saying he's. You're, 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 you're not. You're not. And you just get out the car and flow into you're the You're not the arbitrator of my damn. Dis, of my handicap. Well, you don't, shouldn't be giving you. You don't get to decide, walk. okay? Fucking United States government, when I got blown up from my fucking country, eight times with a damn IED and was in a coma for two fucking months, I get to decide who's disabled. You don't get to decide if I'm disabled or not. I want your goddamn name because you harassed me on a Sunday morning just because I don't look handicapped. You what's up, what's up, what's up? It is your boy once again. Okay, so I got some serious foolery going on right here. Now, this one, this one hits home. This one hits home. Y'all know I'm crazy about my veterans. You know, I'm all about our veterans. You know, 27-year veteran, 100% disabled veteran. And I run up on this video. And I've seen this a couple of times. I've had people even say it to me. You look at a person and try to tell if they disabled or not. So this stupid cop, see a guy get out. He got all the credentials to say he's a disabled veteran whatsoever. He tells him, you don't look disabled. You know how many people have told me that? Well, you don't look like nothing's wrong with you. And that's the way some of us are. Our, inter our injuries are internal. So, you know, you won't see it if I'm standing up here. But if I tell you all the doctors I had to go see and do all this stuff through the VA, then, yeah, you'll understand. But this stupid cop here goes through a whole thing, disrespecting all this other stuff, just ignorant, just straight ignorant. Don't know his stuff. Telling a disabled veteran, you can't park here because you can walk in the store. Like, come on, dude. But y'all check this out, man. This is on, I mean, he gets what he get. That department going to get sued. They getting sued. He should sue the crap out of him, but let's get it. Let's get it. Because you say I'm not disabled. The cop right here is saying I'm not disabled because I don't look disabled. Yeah. But I'm a goddamn disabled veteran that served my country for almost 10 years. I'm, I'm saying that people and he's in saying he's, you're, not the, you're not the, you're not the, and you just get out the car and flow into You're the not snow. the arbitrator of my damn, dis, of my handicap. Well, you they shouldn't be giving you You don't get to the side, okay? Fucking wow. United States government, when I got blown up from my fucking country, eight times with a damn IED and was in a coma for two fucking months, I get to decide who's disabled. You don't get to decide if I'm disabled or not. I want your goddamn name because you harassed me on a Sunday morning just because I don't look handicapped. You don't look well enough to be a fucking officer with your gut hanging over your stomach. I, I was about to say that. Like, he, he is looking like a rental cop instead of a city cop. You know what I mean? But did y'all hear what he said? You got out the car and just flowed in the building. You're not in a wheelchair. Now, when disabled only says that you have to be in a wheelchair. Now, I know the drawing has a wheelchair on it, but that's just to signify that it's a disabled parking spot, not that it's for wheelchair only. It does not say that. So where is he getting his logic? You see what I'm saying? And being a veteran, going, listening to somebody tell you you're not a vet, you're not a disabled veteran because you don't look like it. And he's sitting there looking like, like he's swollen with something, and you're supposed to be representing a police officer. I mean, he could have said a lot of things about him when he ran up on him. You look like no, like a rental cop out here working at the mall. But he didn't do that. But you came running in the store to get him, pulled him out the store, and then harass him about it. I didn't say shit to you. I got out with my father, went in there to get my goddamn Charlie alcohol, and I was buying my business. Sierra 91, Charlie Whiskey Care. Run the goddamn plate, no goddamn warrants, run the goddamn handicap sticker. I'm a fucking disabled veteran. I park in a handicap spot if I want to park in a handicap spot. I don't need you. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 See, I you don't have any right to do that, officer. Move the camera out my face. I'm, hey, do not do it. With all the shit going on today, watch them. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. Watch out. <laughs> wow. Hey. You see that? Call, call another officer over here crazy. right now. Call the police. Because what he just, hey, call the police. Call, call the goddamn police. You just knocked my camera out. This is a $700 phone. You can't knock my camera out of my, out of my thing. Okay, so rental cop definitely was wrong. But guys, this is one thing that I keep seeing. 
why do you all hold your phone and tell somebody else to dial 911 for you? Take five seconds out to get off that recording, step away from them, dial 911, tell them what the issue is, get back to recording. Stop walking around telling everybody, else, dial 911 when you're holding your $700 or $1,000 phone in your hand. Handle it yourself. Because you don't know what these people are going to call in and say they, you did. They might walk up on the ass end of this and say they just see the guy here harassing a police officer. Now you got the whole force running up here after you. Call and make your own report. Then get back to recording. Step away. Do what you have to do. Get back to recording. Y'all get it? All right. Let's roll. Send another officer over here, man. How do you, why you do that? Why would you do that? Where's your driver's license? You want my driver's license too? You want my insurance? You can't do that, man. Hey, somebody else, somebody with a cooler head come over here. You can't do shit like that, officer. Come on now, if I did that to you, you take me to jail. You'd arrest me. For assaulting a police officer. You can't do that. Yeah. Just because you mad doesn't mean you have to you can lose your temper like that. Mad. So you not you you and you crack the oh, phone. Yeah, Look at that. You mad. That's an eight hundred dollar phone you just cracked. It ain't cracked. It's right there. It's cracked. A big ass crack on my crack. screen. You just cracked my cell phone, man. Yeah. Call another officer, cause you know I don't feel safe with you over here. There's a paramedics. I'll let them know. See, call somebody is, else, man. That's that's messed up. The cop hey, already know he in the room. You guys, but he call, won't some, let it call go. the police officer right now. This dude over here says I'm not handicapped. Then fucking well, I'm, have my phone. I slap my phone out of my hand on the floor. Call somebody right now. I'm not, I'm not a police you can still call for a police officer. That's the police right there. You can call for a police officer, bro. That's messed up. That is the police. Yeah. What? Uh, everybody ain't trying to get involved in your stuff. What? Man. He's not gonna get involved, bro. He's a he's a he's a, he's a uh, did you run the thing? I'm running it now. Yeah. I need your name, Officer G. Wilson, because you broke my phone, man. Look at that. You cracked my damn phone. It's a crack. phone ain't cracked. It's a crack on the screen. There you go. You broke my phone. Just so you know, there's three screws in this leg right here. Traumatic brain injury. All that shit from getting blown up and shot at. Two times in Iraq and one time in Afghanistan. Just because I don't look like a disabled person doesn't mean I'm not disabled. You don't get to decide that. Uncle Sam says I'm 90% disabled for the rest of my life. That's how it works. Ten years of serving my damn country. You don't get to decide that. Should I take a break for a minute on that? See, that's where he's right. See, I'm 100% disabled. And if you see me, you will never think so. All right? But, like, my wife know about it. I'm at the house, what I have to do every day, all this other stuff. Like, I have to work out and all this other stuff, or I'll be in pain, you know. Had to go see all these specialists here and there. But, like, this guy, this officer here, just straight ignorant because he see the placket, he see the sticker in there. He got the dude license. He run the check. It don't take that long to run it. The dude showed him all this veteran stuff. Instead of just apologizing, it's like, my bad. I made a mistake. No, he's going to keep running with it. Knowing that you're wrong, getting deeper and deeper, you already assaulted the guy when you slapped the phone out of his hand. So instead of getting up out of there, now you're going to risk your job because you want to you wanna be right. You want to be right when you know you're wrong. All oh, this shit is wrong. And it takes a lot. Like he said, you just don't get the VA just don't hand this stuff out. So it takes a while to get all this stuff. It took me five years after I retired to get 100%. And that's filing an appeal and everything. So they don't make it easy for us to get this compensation. They make it hard as crap. So for somebody to come and tell you, oh, you don't, basically like you don't deserve it because you can walk. Really? See, I had the TBI too. Traumatic brain injury, back injury, leg injury. I had all that. You can't see it. But a lot of us like that. And the ones who had severe injuries, yeah, you see theirs. He just not one that you can see. That's all. But the cop shouldn't have to, it, nothing stipulates that you have to be in a wheelchair 
to pull up in a handicapped spot. Nothing. Did he call? Yeah, he did. He did. Call somebody else, man, because that's messed up. You don't, you don't get to do that. Bad you can't just look, knock my phone out of my hand like that. Man, that's messed up. Bad look. With all the crazy shit going on with police officers nowadays, you gotta be able to control your temper. As a citizen, I have the right to say whatever the hell I want, as long as I'm not accosting you. Juliet, 502-405-86-3730. Hey, you have a cell phone on you? And the crazy thing, he didn't even ask for the Can sticker. You, you usually ask for the sticker. Too, the sticker, the number, uh, give them all the information they need. If yes. it's registered, if it's a registered um, disabled do citizen. I don't know. No, 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 no. Okay. The reason why, the reason why, because all the things that's going on. That's what we're saying. Oh, exactly. Oh, yeah, but he's on camera. And there's cameras oh, everywhere. They were on camera too, baby. They were on camera too. You want to shoot a disabled <laughs> veteran for parking with no record? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not some damn criminal. I'm a college student now. It's not about that. Hello? You can't. With oh, you are handicapped. You, I so am you handicapped. You just don't see it. Okay? I go to damn th physical therapy almost every month. I walk short distances. That's why I park in the handicapped spot. Okay. You don't see it. You're speaking to someone? No, 911 called emergency contact. 3, 21 Riviera. Anything huh? back on the video? I mean, he's uh, right. Okay. You just don't see it. I'm the same way. I don't walk. I don't do long distance. Okay. Standing or none of that stuff. You don't get to do that. That's messed up. Some, something's gonna happen. Something, no. I see it a lot of things. People say, "Well, he's he's out. He's he's too amped up or whatever." But you gotta understand, a lot of us go through PTSD, so a lot of things trigger us when people mess with us. That's why you don't just mess with people because you don't know what they've gone through. And see, I avoid a lot of people. I avoid a lot of, sister, you know, a lot of mess going on because you mess around and trigger the wrong guy, you're going to be fighting for your life. And it's just that thing, man. It's just, you know, you go back to combat or whatever it is, but like the lady talking about, you need to amp down, calm down. He probably can't calm down right now. Because he amped his anxiety and everything and kicked in. So he probably needed another, another veteran to come around and calm him down a little bit. But this cop done kind of triggered it. You know what I'm saying? Because he see he had a TBI, a traumatic brain injury. So that's some of the stuff that can happen. But, you know, the cop is wrong. But, yeah, you know, it is what it is on that. That's why I say you don't be messing with these people that are ex-military because you don't know what you're going to mess around and get. I need, I need a police officer out here at Walgreens on the corner of Broadway and Blue and Blue Heron, ASAP. One of your officers out here, one of your officers, he said I'm not handicapped. I have a handicapped placard. He says I'm not handicapped. He starts accosting me and my father, then swipes my damn phone out of my hand, breaks my phone. All, he breaks my phone. It's all on camera. Get somebody else out here right now, please. ASAP. There's a sheriff on the corner telling us that. Yes. No, get somebody out here now. Isaiah James. 561 578 1848. 561 578 1848. Listen, yeah, I'm in a Dodge Magnum. You asking too many questions. Lie. Get somebody if he went out that here. Far, oh, yeah, I'll be pissed off. Oh, yeah, get, the, get your supervisor, your captain out here right now. Uh, All my stuff's clear, is it? Yeah. 
All my stuff's clear. They have the case. I don't have any warrants. Uh, and I'm uh, handy. Uh, so why did you knock my phone out of my hand? Is, is that you got out the car? It does not matter how it looks, officer. That is handicapped, man. Officer, that I'm a damn disabled man. veteran. But, but that do that do that make you any better than a citizen? I went through the process to get the damn. Does that make you any oh, better right. than a citizen or old lady in the wheelchair that really need that place? So I don't really need it. I'm just saying, you walk. There's one, two, three. You walk it. I walk with a limp. There's screws in my leg. I didn't see a limp. You saw me walk a short a distance. That's it's the whole screws purpose. In my leg. That's it's the whole in my purpose, leg. officer. It's screws in my leg. It's the short distance right there. I have screws and pins in my leg. Can I put my Can okay. I Can I put yeah, my identification up? Do whatever you want to, but you're still in the wrong. How am I in the wrong? I have a. You can walk. It's people out there that can't walk. I have a There's handicap no placard no. issued by you the state walk. of Florida. That, that can't walk. I am a dis. See, that's the thing. The VA would stipulate what type of disability you have. Like mine, I'm 100% disabled. I got the um, license plate, disabled veteran, but I don't have the wheelchair on my license plate. I could probably go back and get it, but, you know, I feel like once you're fooling with them about all that, but. You have to have it on your license plate also. And you got to have that placard to hang inside the car, which he has. That's all he needs because he's gone through the process of getting the proper documents. They will not give it to you. It's stipulated in different, it's different stages. Like I said, even though I'm 100%, I have a disabled veteran plate. I get all the benefits of disabled veteran, everything else. I just don't have that on my license plate, so I can't park in a handicapped spot. You understand? You have to have it on your plate, and you have to have that, that placard to hang up in the car. So I still, even though a disabled veteran on my plate, I don't park in handicapped spots. This guy has it, and that's why he's in these spots. So the police officer looked at it and just shut his mouth and moved on. Once he's seen everything, he's like, okay, I just need to make sure because i seen you walking. That's it. Not slapping the phone and telling him it's only for people in wheelchairs. That's where he's wrong at. He's going to have a lawsuit. He's going to win the hell out of this lawsuit. Disabled veteran. Okay, okay. but she is a U.S. citizen is a U.S. citizen. I'm a U.S. citizen. Okay, so what make you better than an old lady that I'm can't walk? I'm not saying there's anybody better than me, officer. I'm just saying that I walk with a limp. He said, like, U.S. That's, veteran, that's the whole U.S. Purpose. citizen, like, no, we're I'm not just saying, citizes. what make you better? You There's come with not... this, oh, I'm a soldier, and I, I am. am. Okay, okay, honey, good, good, good. But what make Somebody you with better? common sense, please, you, officer. No, 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 no. That's what he stopped me. He, no, ask, tell him, ask him why he stopped me, because I got out of the handicap spot. I went inside with my dad to get some alcohol. He comes in there telling me I need to move because I'm not handicapped. I'm a goddamn disabled veteran. I walk in there, my handicap plaque is good, my insurance is good, my license is good, my tag is good. He knocks my phone out of my hand when I start recording him. It's up. in the window right there. It's, it's there. He just well, said because I don't look like I'm not disabled. By law, you're supposed to be indigent to get a handicap sticker. It's issued to a person. Right? It's that, issued to a person. Injured. I had to go through all the medical forms he from the VA, see the doctor, he everything. He got out the car, he parked right next to me, get out, and just flow into the... In I walked short... You, you, you were checking on it. Yeah, so I was checking on No, 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 it, It's the way he did it, and no. it, he knocked my phone out of my hand. All I said is, sir, on the ground and broke my screen, it's right there. I ain't break your screen. Okay, too easy. Officer Wilson, Officer... Laporta. Laporta That's just great. showed up, so he doesn't really know, but it's too easy. It's too easy. Am I good to go, officer? You checked everything. You ran it. It's good. No, it's coming back. Okay. It's coming back. It's good. I don't have any warrants. Doesn't take he said I'm not disabled. So I got hard. three screws in my leg. I've been blown up fucking eight I got, times. I got pins in my eight leg. Times. I served fucking two tours in Iraq and one tour in Afghanistan as a fucking combat infantryman. He doesn't get to decide if I'm disabled. When I get fucking blown hey, up. Sir, what's your name? Isaiah. Isaiah, can I ask you to just bring it down a little bit? I will bring it down. You, you, I don't want to deal with him. He really knocked. Let, let me talk to you. We got a big crowd. You know what I mean? I want a big crowd because he knocked my phone out of my hand right, right there. No, we, don't, we don't need that. Bring so why? How, the video and everything that's fine. He's not the arbitrator of my. Of my just bring it down. Bring he doesn't get to decide if I'm disabled. You know who does? Uncle Sam who says, yes, you served your goddamn country. You did the right thing. You were fucked up for this. We're going to give you a handicap placard. 
I walk short distances. You want me to bring my medical but records down there? He does have the right to check on He that. does have the right to check, but he doesn't have the right and, to fly you, off on me. I didn't file for you. See, look at him now. See him now? I did not file You see him now? You see him now? And you think just because you big that somebody You see his now? That's what What is he doing? You talking to me like a man. This dude said, just because you think you big, you think somebody's scared of you. Dude, come on, where your training at? You keep, you run, first of all, you keep approaching him in an aggressive way. Like I said, you don't know what you're going to run up on. Y'all seen that clip where that, they, the officers walked up on that special forces guy that was, that was flipping out? That night, if they would have run up on that dude like him, oh, that dude would have torn them to pieces. And he was a big, he was Jack. I mean, he was Jack. You don't know what you're going to get. You run up on somebody. You talking to me like a man. Well, yeah, but you're also talking to me up here too, though. So if, we, if we all bring it down, maybe but he we can needs all to. You can't. You, no, you can't tell me, officer. That I'm an American. I'm, I'm a soldier. And that, so, no, uh, but I'm saying. Right. What I told him run. That's why I hate talking to you. Because you're for the country. I hate than an American to citizen. I am an American citizen. Last time I checked, I was born October 13, 1986, in St. Mary's Hospital. I'm an American citizen. I'm an American. I raised my hand and enlisted in the United States Army, September 2nd, 2005. Okay, officer, please. Yeah, I'm talking to you, cause he doesn't have the. What? what kind of fucking horse shit is that? Look, I don't, I don't know what happened. I before. do, and guess what? He knocked right. my phone out of my hand. It's on video. I don't, I don't know what happened before I got here. You this know? shit is hard. This is bad for your department. He's harassing disabled veterans. I agree. When this video goes on fucking YouTube and Facebook, that's fucking horrible. It's horrible. You, you're not the arbitrator to decide if I'm fucking injured or not. Right. When I was in fucking the army in the fucking VA for all those years, getting treatment, I see. I go see my fucking social worker every month. They decide if I'm disabled. You're still cussing at me, though. I, right. Isaiah, soldiers curse. Are you mad at me? No. Look, look I'm, I'm a soldier. Mad at him. Isaiah, I was a soldier. What was your MOS? 8791, 54 well, Bravo. I was 11 Bravo. Okay. So you know. So I know. Right. So what? So, so I what cuss too, but deal? you know. But you gotta just, you know. He's saying that I'm not just. I don't need you all, all, all mad. What, what you should do as a cop is like, can I see your license, registration, sir? Run your shit. Run my plate. It comes back clean. Mm -hmm. You hear not a doctor. You don't get to this. Now you see, like I said earlier, he need to talk to another veteran or something. You see how this cop understand? He understand what he going through. He pulled him away from the dude, trying to get him to calm down. You see what I'm saying? The other cop don't know. He never been in the military, so he keeps coming at him, trying to. Oh, you think you Billy Badass because you in the military? That's how he's coming at him. Now, dude would have hit him with two or three of them hard ones, then he'd have been in the wrong. But you got a little, you know, biscuit eater here that keep running up on me and making all these suggestions when your mind is already done went to probably combat mode. I'm just saying. Not a good look for the police department there or sheriff department where they are. Side of my injury is real or fake, which is right. fucking real. I'm disabled for the rest of my life. I gave him my damn retired ID. I gave him my VA ID. I gave him my fucking, all my IDs to show him. I'm not making this up. All right. He doesn't get, that's, that's you, fucked you, up. You're right. I mean, I don't know how he did it, but maybe, maybe he, maybe he, he, he came across you wrong. What? For what? Look at him. He's still, still the trying to on prove the, him on wrong. The thing, officer. You can run it from there. Do I, do I have to give it to him? Because it's on the front of the thing. He can check it. Right. I mean, if you want, you know, so maybe you can see it. You can see it. it yes, it's, it's registered my license plate and everything. I'm a fucking disabled soldier, man. You're hassling me for no reason at all. I'm not ha you hassle disabled. It's crazy. He waited this long to look at the sticker. I mean, a placard in his car. This long now. Soldiers in Riviera Beach. Is that what happens? No, sir. I think it is. I've been here for 20 fucking minutes for no reason. I hadn't done anything wrong because I'm disabled. I'm getting hassled. That's horse shit and a half, officer. <laughs> That's horse shit and a half, and you know it. Look, my license number is right there on the plate. Run it. I see. He what the hell is going on first. around here? I'm just running, running the handicap factory. He should have yeah, asked for that for the first thing. He should have been, let me see your No, my recourse right. is to take this video, put it on there, go talk to your supervisor, and file a lawsuit for being fucking... That, that's, what, that's, that's what's going to happen. That's what, that's what, that's what you, yes, you're right. Because he slapped my phone out of my hand. It's that's on right camera. Oh, yeah, There's I cameras would. cameras everywhere, man. So I ain't going to lie. Isaiah, 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 Isaiah. You can't Isaiah, lie about look, that. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me. I'm, try, I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you What's up? Run it. Bring it down here. Okay, okay. So, 
This is my thing on that. I don't even know what the ignorance is with this police officer. But being a veteran, disabled veteran at that, nobody's in the mood for you to come up and tell me, oh, you don't look like you disabled. It's like this lady, I, was, I, she, I wasn't actually up there with her. Another person was and was in Lowe's, and the dude was doing the discount, you know, the military discount. And the lady seemed to have a problem with it. One of the ladies standing behind her. Why y'all always asking for free stuff? That's what she said. And he just looked at her like, what? Why y'all always ask for free stuff? Y'all blah, 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 blah. It ain't no free stuff. Ain't nothing free about this. Now, if this organization want to honor soldiers who out here putting their life on the line so you can have a day because y'all don't have the slightest idea what's going on out here. And they give you a 10% discount and you got a problem with it? Well, won't you go join so you can get it? There's only 1% that raise that hand and get in there. And like I said, I'm all about my veterans. So if you want to have a problem, we'll have a problem on that. But this officer was wrong 120%. And I hope he sued a mess out that department. And so they'll understand. You don't look like you are you disabled. The crap. Well, guys, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Shout out to all my veterans out there. Hey, guys, if y'all enjoying the channel, I pre matter of fact, I appreciate all the new people that come on, subscribers. Um, y'all can support the channel by hitting a super chat or go to Cash App, buy me a protein shake because I'm always heading to the gym, so I need the protein. Uh, either thing, just, man, I appreciate y'all. Hey, we coming along. That's all I can say. Things are moving. So with no further ado, I'm going to get up out of here because guess what? I got to take my old broken body to the gym. And y'all take care. It is your boy, and I'm up out of here. Peace.